Uh, Representative Ted Celeste from here in Columbus and uh, Nikki Antonio and I are co lead co sponsors of House Bill 160, which is the legislation to replace the death penalty with life without parole. It is uh, with heavy hearts that we're here today <clears throat> because, as many of you know, the state just had another execution just within the last uh, 45 minutes. And this is something that uh, we hope that the state will cease to be doing as part of this legislation. And indeed, uh, some of the past uh, uh, folks who've been uh, on death row have uh, found that their sentence has have been uh, commuted or there have been wrongful convictions. And we feel that uh, the timing uh, of the discussion and the deliberation is is uh, time for, for us to take a serious look. And as we've presented this uh, bill to the committee and expect to have uh, hearings next month, December 14th, before uh, the House Committee hearing this bill, um, we've had a number of people express uh, support for the process and we're, we're pleased for that support, including a number of people who are here who are co-sponsors um, and, and thank them for, for their uh, support of, of this legislation. Um, we've, we've talked about the bill a lot and rather than talk about the bill, we're here because we're honored with the uh, pres uh, presence of Sister Helen Prejean, who has uh, been an advocate for eliminating the death penalty across the country. And uh, she will share a few words. She'll be introduced by uh, my colleague, Nikki. And Nikki, if you'd like to go ahead. Thank you. Well, I'd like to thank you all for being here, uh, especially the students that we have from Moeller, is it? Am I saying it right? OK. I um, want to thank you all for being here. This is your government in action. And it takes a lot of talking, a lot of processing for us to move through changing the law of our state. And I think that we're on a good path right now as we go down the path of ending capital punishment in the state of Ohio and moving towards the option of life without parole. Um, no victims are ever brought back. The families continue to suffer. And I'd like us all to just take one moment right now to reflect on the fact that um, there has been a state-sanctioned death in the state today. So if we could just take a moment. Thank you. And I'm very honored to introduce Sister Helen Prejean. We are honored that she joins us and really helps to give um, the depth of what we're talking about in terms of changing the policy. And so with that, I would just like to thank her 